The John Ford Podcast. Friends may come and go, but enemies accumulate. John Ford. Radio. Well, here we go again. It is the John Ford Podcast. This is number 11 of the Evening Ranker in a series of 847 trillion. I don't know how many I'll end up doing. As long as I have breath, I'm on this planet, and I'm motivated to do so, we'll continue to do it. Because, as I've explained before, this just gives me a forum to shoot off my big mouth. After spending many decades in the broadcast industry, getting paid for shooting off my big mouth, nobody wants to pay me to do that anymore. No. So I'll just do it here for free, for fun, because it gives me an outlet to do so. We're going to do something a little different today, but first I wanted to talk about just a couple of quick news items First is Kavanaugh. I really don't want to talk about Kavanaugh. I've had enough of that. But it looks like he's either going to get voted in or voted out on Saturday unless they stretch this thing out even further. I'm tired of hearing about it on Twitter. I'm tired of the people that are upset about him getting in. I'm tired of the people that are upset about what's happening to him from, you know, the left and the right and the middle and the up and the down. Vote him in, vote him out, get it over with, done. Okay, I'll do it. The other interesting piece of news that came out today, and this is still kind of under the radar at this point, but this is going to be a big story, I think. This is going to be uh, a big deal that's coming up. It appears that the hardware company, Super Micro, has been installing chips on hardware in the United States that's essentially server hardware that they supply to companies like Apple and Microsoft. And I think Apple has kind of denied this at this point. This uh, story originally broke on uh, the Wall Street Journal, I I believe. But I was reading it on The War Zone, which is kind of a cool website if you uh, want to check it out. It's on thedrive.com, and then you click on The War Zone. I'll put a link to this on the the blog website. If you ever want to, you know, check out any of the links that I talk about, I do post them on the uh, podcast website. You can get to that by going to johnford.radio and click on podcast, and it will take you there, and there will be links under there. Okay, you got that? All right. So anyways, the super micro thing, they uh, have put this tiny little chip on there, which is about the size of the head of a pen, you know, very small. Kind of like Donald Trump's hands. <laughs> but it contains a small instruction set of code, allegedly, that leaves a backdoor open where malicious code can be injected into the server. And as we know how Jim Morrison taught us, that backdoor stuff can be difficult. Be careful how you use it. So anyways, what they could do is get into the server, shut down the server, insert all kinds of nefarious code. Careful that insertion stuff. I'm a bad girl. And just generally create havoc. Be afraid. They could shut down all the servers at once where they can spy on information, not just corporate information. It appears that this also is, you know, these servers are being used by the military and the CIA, probably even the NSA. So (laughs) it's a pretty big story. We're going to hear a lot about uh, this as time goes on. But as I said, we're going to do something different today on the John Ford podcast on the Evening Ranker. The other day I was complaining. Well, I do that a lot, I know. Yeah, boy. The other day I was complaining about uh, that I can't play any music on here. Uh, Because it's so hard to figure out what's under copyright and what isn't under copyright, right? So then I thought, wait a second. I'm sort of an amateur songwriter. I never really followed it to its ultimate extreme because I never figured I was good enough. I was just kind of mediocre at it. I had a few that I wrote that were kind of okay, and eh, some of them were kind of, you know, Not okay, but they're all just kind of mediocre. And why pursue something if you're only going to be mediocre at it? I mean, we've all dealt with enough people that, you know, oh my God, I want to be a great musician. You know, and they end up becoming Britney Spears or whatever. You know, they're just these horrible pop singers. Or you have, uh, you know, girls living in New York City or San Francisco that want to be, you know, folk singers and songwriters. And, you know, they're not good enough. And nobody ever had the heart to tell them because of the whole snowflake thing. You know, you suck or you're just plain old mediocre. And the only reason you're able to do this and survive is because dad's paying your bill and paying for your apartment in the village while you pretend to be this great musician. And eventually you're going to have to either get married and, you know, take money from your husband or get a regular job like everybody else. So anyways, I'm going to play you some of my songs. The reason being is I own the copyright for them and I can't get in trouble for playing them. Now, the first one I'm going to play for you here, this is do a little something different on the show. The first one I'm going to play for you here is a song called Amy. And I sort of ripped off the melody from an old folk song, which is a common thing to do. I mean, even Dylan did it. You know, I mean, this is like, it's part of the folk tradition to borrow from 
older material. So I borrowed from older material by uh, Bascom Lamar Lumford. I think that's the right name. Hey, he did a song called uh, Mole in the Ground, which is like an old-timey, folksy song that he played on Clawhammer banjo. I rewrote some lyrics for it and slightly rearranged it a little bit, and I ended up doing this with a guy in New York who uh, I'm playing the guitar and the harmonica and doing the vocals. He did a lot of the MIDI stuff in the background and the sequencing because I don't know how to do that, even though I'm pretty good with computers. And, you know, I, I fixed Macs for a lot of years and made money doing it as a... Uh, as a certified Apple technical coordinator. But that being as it may, I just never got into the whole electronic music thing. You know, it was like, I, can, I want to just play an instrument and make up lyrics and come up with, you know, songs. So anyways, here's this song. It's called Amy, loosely based on the old-timey song by Bascom Lamar Lunsford called I Wish I Was a Mole on the Ground. Play the hits today on the Evening Rancor. God bottled everybody. Amy, let your hair hang down. Amy, let your long dark curls hang on down. If you'd let your hair fall down, spill and tumble on the ground. Break apart these chains that keep us bound. I wish I was a fish in the sea. If only I was a fish down in the sea See, if I was a fish down in the sea Then you'd have your hooks in me I was a fish down in the sea Darling, you've been on my mind Darling, you've been on my trouble little mind Wearing so heavy Amy, let your hair hang down. Let your hair, let your hair, let your hair hang down. Amy, let your long dark curls hang on down. If you let your hair fall down, spill and tumble on the ground. Break apart these chains that keep us bound. Keep us down, keep us down, keep us down, keep us down. That long dark man. No, I hate that long dark man. He's torn apart my world and burned up my head. God, I hate that long dark man. One of these days I'm gonna build a building in the sky. One of these days I'm gonna build a building. You know, it's so hard not to do the DJ voice. So that was Amy, based uh, loosely on the uh, I Wish I Was a Mole Ground by Bassam Lamar Lumsford. I can never get his name just right. But, you know, he looked like one of my relatives, you know. I think he was from North Carolina. But he looked like a lot of those relatives from Kentucky that uh, my mama's people came from. Yeah, that pasty, white, skinny, <laughs> rednecky, but proud sort of look to him. Actually, he was a lawyer. I was reading about that. He was not just a musician. He was a lawyer. All right. Here's another one. This is the last one I'm going to play for today. We may, may do this again another time. This uh, song I wrote, uh, I was coming back from buying groceries. I was living in, uh, in Chelsea, and I was coming back from buying groceries at a little grungy grocery store that's close to the Chelsea market, 
and I, I got a stone in my shoe. I, oh man, I got a stone in my shoe. Ah, oh, there's a song. So I wrote it down on the way back on, you know, a slip of paper and came up with this. Stone in my shoe. Sort of sounds like Pink Floyd meets Bob Dylan on a bad day. I got a stone in my shoe. John Ford, I'm the Evening Ranker, and here's a little piece of trivia about that song. Look, I'm no, like, great guitarist. I'm, I'm kind of okay, although I don't really play anymore because my hands are kind of farked up. But that was played on a, uh, a 1965 Gil Dwayne Eddy, which I still own, and a Princeton Silverface amp, which, I, which was owned by Lee Abrams. And I traded it for a really crappy Fender guitar for his kid so his kid could have a guitar. I came out good on that deal. I ended up selling it. But here's a little piece of trivia about that amp. That was actually Steve Howe's of Yes, his amp. 
It, it probably wanted to throw up once I was playing it. But, you know, a little piece of trivia. Anyways, thanks for joining the show today. We enjoyed having you along on the Evening Ranker. Till next time. I'm the happiest guy. He's the luckiest guy. Cause I just bought a new Ford. From a wonderful dealer. Wow, what a dealer. For a Ford or a fine used car. Hey, babies, it's time for the rock show with that swinging semi aid Shankle. What? What? Music? You say music? Sure, of course I listen to music. Why do you think I'm sick? I can't go to the bathroom by myself? What? Music? Music? Yeah, music. I love all the music, the new music. You know that queen with the, we will rock you, rock, we're gonna rock you. We, I like that. It, 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 the beat, the dangerous beat, the, the rest don't mean nothing. But Van, hey, but Van Halen, the David Roth, oh, God, he got a putz on him, big, firm, like a summer sausage. The bomb, the bomb with eating all the cocaines. But no, I don't take nothing. Maybe a little titillac for gas. The John Ford Podcast.